Good day. I'm Clive and welcome. Bit of a windy start of the day, so I've just snuck over here into the actual uh, scrub. Two things I'm doing today. The first one is I'm getting back into exercise, getting my fitness back up. Uh, some of you may know I've spent the last four months recovering. I had a triple surgery, and now the main one is actually say about 90% healed so the pack's okay on now so I'm going to be heading out as you can see with the uh, DD Bergen testing it out on a 10.5 kilometer walk uh, the whole idea of today the actual Bergen is just a, a bonus which I can do at the same time is I want to get my fitness level back up uh, I've got a triple hut walk on the Bilderman track coming soon so I don't know whether I'm going to do a single and then a double or a double and a single or all three in one day it, the range is at a maximum of if I did all three would be about 56 kilometers but that's over Mount Vincent, Mount Cook, uh, Mount Cuthbert so it wouldn't be an easy day to do all three but my aim is to get my fitness up so I can do that if I wish. Now today's walk is like I said, is going to be 10.6 kilometers. It's similar to the Bibbleman track where I'm walking at the moment. Is you've got some level, you've got some incline, you've got some decline, you've got some steep stuff. You've just got some gentle incline and gentle decline. Um, most of the way is on gravel. I'll just be honest there, but I want to do this, then go on to the next section of three days. So this video is the first part of my getting back into the walking, getting my fitness up. Uh, over time I've lost a little bit of weight whilst I've been recovering, which is a good thing. So this, we're looking forward to do 10.6 today uh, to practice to do the possibility of up to 56 over the three mountains, Mount Cuthbert, Vincent and Cook uh, in a about, probably about two, three weeks time if I can get my fitness up today where I feel good enough to do it and that's also going to be part of my training to do the next part of the Bibbleman track which is from Donnelly River Village down to Pemberton which is normally over five days and the first day it will be 16 kilometres which I'm hoping to be able to double hut but the other days uh, up to, I think the longest day is going to be about 25 kilometers. So if I can get my fitness up when I get to that, I'm going to be looking at double hurting them so I can get that five day walk done in three days and see how I feel and how time's going. And if I've got the time, I'll continue on to Northcliff, which is another three days hike. And that's, I think, is averaging, oh, I can't remember to be honest. <laughs> I'll put it up here if I I'll find it out when I get home and I'll put it up here which the average day will be. So I'm hoping to get all that done, get videos of every single uh, day section, every single shelter along the way. I may take uh, some gear to test along the way and let you know how that gets on, make videos about that for you all. Uh, see what the weather's like will depend on what pack I take with me to carry it all in or on. So that's what today's video I've just made is all about. It's just letting you know what's up for me, what I'm doing. And now, before the wind blows me over, I'm going to get on with my walk.
Let's go to the inclines now. Not out of breath. Legs aren't hurting yet. We're about three and a half kilometres in. Love the views up here. I just feel the temperature starting to rise. But when the wind blows, which at the moment the lock is nearly all the time, it's blowing quite a cool breeze compared to the temperature coming up. So it's perfect walking weather in the sense of temperature at the moment. The ground is a bit rocky. I have to keep an eye down there. I don't want to twist my ankle. Yeah, it's just beautiful up here. I'm in my happy place when I'm out in the bush. I made it to the far end and I'm on my way back now. Feeling okay. I'm doing a little bit more of filming, walking off the track a little bit, going up the side tracks. Not far from the car now and I just checked my phone. 12 kilometres so far. I feel my knee I was on about not hurting but I can feel that the other one is okay my thighs I can feel uh, yeah, I can feel them where I've been walking but I'm not out of breath I didn't lose my breath so that's awkward, happy with that. We have an add on. I'm on the Manning Lake and Northern Round track. I was only about three or four kilometres up the road from here. So, what I decided to do was come and walk this track, which I've wanted to do for a long time. So, I did the 12.6 kilometres this morning. And this is 5.1 kilometres, so that's going to be 17.7 kilometres today. And I'm about halfway around this track now, and there's been quite a few steep bits, inclines and declines. But a little bit out of breath as you can hear because I've just done an incline, but all was good. And if anybody's thinking about been a bit of training for any of the Bibbon tracks or anything. Adding this to the Wungong Reserve tracks are two decent tracks. The Wungong Reserve was one I did this morning, which is a 10.1 uh, meant to be, but because I went off, I got up to 12.6. And this one, yeah, it's a good one to practice on. Also, uh, as you can see, I've got the pack on my back between 12 and 14 kilos. I've got water in my pocket. And I'm loving it. I think it's
All right, 400 meters away from the car. There's a couple of bits that are way more difficult than the rest. A couple of hundred meters away, there was, really you couldn't call it a track. I was basically climbing up rocks, going through the scrub a little bit more, down a few rocks, up a few rocks, and then back onto a sandy track. I can feel my old man's hip <laughs> aching a little bit. I'm doing all that climbing. I still not seriously out of breath. Climbing up and down in rocky bits, they're quite steep. Uh, I was having to concentrate my breathing a bit more. Oh, I don't know what's happened to the camera. Let's go back. Where is it? Oh, there we go. Back again. There we are, let's get this done right. I don't know what's going on with this. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, I'd concentrate on breathing a little bit. Not where I was gasping for air or uncomfortable. It was just a, a little bit of hard work. I know what's happening. There we go. I was picking up the phone holder. <laughs> like I was saying, it was a little bit of hard work, but surprising me, it wasn't as difficult as it could have been. So I think over the last four months, because of keeping slightly active, just not carrying heavy packs or doing long bush walks or anything, I've kept some of my fitness, so I'm happy with that. No, it's, if you ever do this trail, use the old trails app. Because <laughs> following a normal map, it's just way off. It is. Because like I said, you come off access roads, dirt tracks, and then you come into little bits like this. And the only thing you do is go back on yourself and walk partly up a track, and then check where you are on the map of this. So, anyway. Let's go back to the other video. Alright, so I'm going to say goodbye for now. I hope you've enjoyed this little video of my first day of getting my fitness back for bush walking and hiking. And if you're not a subscriber and you've enjoyed the video, please go down below and click on the thumbs up button, the like button, click the subscribe button and select all next to it so you can be notified of all future videos and if you are already a subscriber again i thank you very much